I think time and life on Earth are precious. It's the only place we know of that supports human life, let alone intelligent life. In the United States, we do use 25% of the world's natural resources, despite having 4% of the world's population. And I think we really can, with our people and our businesses, make a serious impact. So we chose to investigate the best practices from the best people to determine what would make the biggest difference. And we found that the simplest practices were the best practices. Four to five Americans live in cities or urban areas. And in those urban areas, people generally have access to some form of public transportation in order to go to school or get to work. So if many Americans switch from their cars to taking the train or the bus, the APTA predicts that Americans will save $6,200 per family per year and not use 1.4 billion gallons of gasoline. They knew that these were major benefits that Americans would want, so we started looking for ways employers, one of the biggest factors in dictating where people live, could make public transportation easier to use. They could be located uh, convenient to public transportation. So for example, located here in the Willis Tower, you can get here via four different train stations in a, in a short walk. Um, to the office, so, you know, location matters. Um, the, the other thing that uh, a company could do is make sure they're participating in a program where um, transit fare money that an employee earns is deducted tax-free and then made available to purchase your monthly metric ticket or your venture card or whatever. Another important practice we identified was the responsible use of electricity. Americans use 4.2 petawatts of power per year, and 3 million come from fossil fuels. Our businesses in the small sector use 53,000 kilowatt hours per year. In the small business sector, a customer can uh, replace their existing, what we call T12 lighting, old fluorescent lighting, with new lighting that's more efficient. Another awesome benefit about changing your lights is that you'll save $40 for every bulb that you change. In some cases, for example, LEDs can reduce uh, basically between 65 and 75 percent, um, less than traditional lighting. Sustainability doesn't end at the office. You have to be willing to commit to a green practice from design to the dumpster. Most of the 250 million tons of garbage Americans throw out every year is food, paper, or plastic. But that amount doesn't have to go to waste. Whatever you can do to simplify the recycling at the end of its useful life, uh, you can do that by minimizing the intermingling of different materials. You can also sort organic waste, which could be composted, turned into methane biogas, and used as a substitute for natural gas or refined into vehicle fuels through a gas to liquid process. We get a lot of material that is able to be recycled if people would take the time to do it. Probably the biggest thing a business around here could do is just um, get a recycling container. In Wisconsin it's mandatory that commercial businesses recycle, in Illinois it's not. We're all human. We all want to make our marks on the world. And when the best things you can do are as simple as taking a train, changing your lights, or sorting your trash, you are an unstoppable force. Do your part and save the earth.